there are pools of boiling hot water all around the park. But what makes the water in the geysers explode? What if geysers are like a cannon that fires water? If I can track down a real cannon, I might be able to figure out how geysers work. This thing is a custom weapon built by Larry, a one-of-a-kind inventor. Holy cow. <laughs> when I called you up to ask you about your cannon, I never expected anything like this. <laughs> this is massive. This is all of your own creation. Yeah. I have a feeling somebody's kind of sad that they lost part of their Cadillac. They lost part of their, this is a bumper off of a, a Packard. So why? Why? <laughs> Why build this monstrosity of a cannon? I thought if I didn't do it, who else would, you know? <laughs> so what's going to come out of here? What do you uh, shoot? Bowling ball. Bowling balls. And One of the ways I get my kids' attention in class is by blowing stuff up. Uh -huh. And um, so you've got my attention. Larry's packing the black powder that will charge the cannon. Think of the powder like the water in a geyser, superheated by the volcano. Both can explode, but there's a catch. You know, if you took that same amount of powder and just put it on the ground and lit it, it would just flash. Mm, just some smoke and... Yeah, so if you contain the explosion, uh -huh. it'll build more pressure. The secret of the cannon and the geyser is containing the pressure. The water in a geyser is contained and heated in an underground reservoir with a long neck. Years of mineral buildup make the structure rock solid, just like the barrel of a cannon. Somebody probably bowled a 300 game with that. Do we run? Do we hide? Stand and watch? Yeah, I was, you know, anywhere but in front of the cannon. Anywhere but the front of the cannon. Oh, yeah. Down in the geyser's reservoir, heat and pressure builds. Oh, hey, there's that change in color. And builds. Okay. But. Okay. Oh. Holy cow, that was incredible. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna end up in the stratosphere. Oh, cool God. Oh my gosh, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, it's like a perfect mushroom cloud that shoots out of the end and then it looks like dragon breathing fire. Like a geyser, there's only one escape route for the explosion. Along and out the barrel of the cannon. You're containing that explosion in this eight foot barrel and so it's expanding the whole time. And this thing goes a long way for the amount of powder we use. A geyser works essentially the same way. When we looked at geysers, we saw that there's a reservoir where pressure is building up. And then when that pressure finally releases, the gases and everything else are sent out of a confined area, just like this cannon behind me. <laughs> 